Hey, what is up, guys? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Osai, what to call me. And yeah. So, yeah, this channel is still not dead. It, technically, it is. But uh, yeah, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, yep, uploading something in the Dulce Reviews channel, a review. Uh, yeah, just it, it, whatever I said in the last video where I promised that I was going to upload something at least once a month. Yeah, forget about that. And yeah, I'm just going to upload whenever I want to. So yeah, that's all I got to say. Uh, let's continue the video. So uh, this video is going to be a review on a headphone amp and it is called the Mastrop XTHX. Triple A seven eight nine. So this amp retailed around three hundred fifty dollars. Uh, I paid a little bit extra because, you know, I wasn't gonna be here this Christmas, and you know, I don't want it to be stolen from somebody. You know, just driving by and saw a package. Oh, let me just take this shit. So yeah, uh, paid for you know the two day shipping. So it did came a little bit earlier for me. Now. I got this from Mastrop, and it's only available in Mastrop. So the last drop I got it from was a limited time. So when I got it and the time ran out. That was it. They didn't came back after that. Now, sometimes when Mastrop does have a limited time drop, if it's popular, it will come back and have a unlimited drop. So you can buy whatever you want and, you know, you don't have to be afraid of, oh, if I don't buy it right now, after the hour is done, it's not coming back. No, it's coming back. Don't worry. You have enough time to buy it. Now, I think this might come back and I think this is going to be the most popular thing like the, you know, the, the Sennheiser HDXX, the Jubilees the Fostex Ebony's or Mahogany's it's I think it's gonna be one of the most popular products because this has got to be one of the best amps that I have ever heard of and mind you you know I, I just recently got into this hi-fi shit so in my opinion isn't that valid it's I mean it's it's like asking a version oh how was that sex I'm like oh wow that was the best sex that I ever had it's like really that was your first one how how <laughs> yeah this, this headphone amp is so good that you know it, it kind of stopped me from doing videos like it's 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 been it's been five days that I haven't I like at least made a video until right now because I, I was too busy just listening to music and every every music right now sounds different even these headphones sound different when it's in this amp so yeah, before this amp I did own a own x7 and before that I own a Magni uh, 2 uber and yeah, like those were like the when I when I first started with the Magni, uh, that was it was a good amp. But when I upgraded to the um, Own X7, I was like, wow, this is amazing. I kind of thought, oh, this is end game, you know. I don't need to upgrade anymore. This 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 thing can power and <laughs> if I only knew that before. But no, when I got this, I I kind of realized like, wow, I was just listening to music like a peasant, and you know. It wasn't until, you know, the future, until technology came in and, you know, made things better and cheaper. I was like, oh my god. And I was testing between the THX and the Onyx 7. And, yeah, I can't go back. The THX just sounds way better. And, I, I, fuck, I'm going to I'm gonna have to sell my own. <laughs> uh, if you guys are interested, contact me. No, I'm just kidding. I think I know a guy. I'm just going to sell it to him. But, uh, yeah, all right. Enough of me sucking this amp's dick. Let's go into details and explain why this amp is so good. Now the first thing you'll notice when you plug your headphones into this amp is the distortion. It it doesn't exist. When you plug your headphones into this amp, you'll notice how nice and clear everything sounds. Everything sounds so crisp. Now that was another thing that I noticed with the THX comparing to the Onyx 7 is that everything sounds natural. Everything sounds like what the music should sound like. Nothing feels exaggerated or they bass boosted. No, everything sounds just right. But comparing to the Onyx 7, which is a Class A amp, you can hear the subtle details louder in this amp. Now, it's not really a bad thing, but when you just want to listen to music just for fun and not be analytical, then yeah, in some songs it does make music sound louder than it should be. And what I'm guessing why it sounds like that, well, it is a Class A amp. And what I quote unquote think Class A does is that they get all the little details and make it appear louder. So yeah, that was me trying to explain what Class A was. Look, guys, don't don't look at me like an expert, all right? I was trying. Just just go to the Hi-Fi websites. They'll probably explain it way better than me uh, what Class A is and what it does. So yeah, I've noticed in the own, the little details of songs appear more in that amp. So everything somewhat sounds like, um, I don't know how to describe it, but I, 
all I will say is it sounds like yeah it's been colored the the music has been colored it's been tampered while the THX sounds really natural like there's nothing like I don't feel like they added a little bit more bass into it or you know they exaggerate the highs or lows or mids whatever it doesn't feel like that it feels like what the music would sound like alright so let's talk about the output so uh, there's a balance output there's a quarter inch and then there's a 3.5 millimeter. Now, I have a HD6XX, and I'm hooked up with the balance cable, and yeah, I prefer balance way better. So I did a sound test between the quarter inch and the balance, and I've noticed that in the balance, everything sounded louder. Now, I don't mean louder as in, oh, I just turned up the volume, no. It was like the person that was singing was told, hey, can you sing a little bit louder? And they did. And the same thing goes to the instruments, the, the mids, the lows, everything sounded louder. So yeah, balance sounded great. The, like, this is my first experience with a good balance amp. I got a balance output in the own, but eh, there wasn't much of a difference. Here, there is a huge difference. And again, this amp doesn't get any distortion, so when you turn up the volume, you don't turn up the volume and it gets, like, loud and yeah, ear rapey. No, it gets more detailed. I don't know what to say after this. Like, I I'm done. I'm done with this review. Like, I'm I am done. That's all I gotta say. It sounds clean and distortion does not exist here. That's all I could say. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, Build-wise, uh, this is pretty well built. It's um metal. Nice, nice metal right here. But yeah, this is a great amp. Like, I, I don't think I could upgrade anymore. I think I I'm good as is, you know? Like, all I need to buy is just, you know, headphones and decks. And, you know, I'll probably wait until maybe Mastrop creates the endgame deck, like how they did with the endgame amp. Yeah, if Mastrop's not doing anything, I don't know. I'm probably just going to wait until I have enough money to buy. <laughs> I'm probably not going to buy these things. Uh, like the, the Army uh, deck or maybe that SMLS deck right there. But those are too expensive. Uh, but re reality, I might just get the uh, SMSL SU8, I think that's called might get that um but yeah but I'm, I'm still good with my own x1 uh i am running it on an rca to my 3.5 millimeter on my computer all right so this is how my setup is so my amp is connected to my deck and it's an rca to the quarter inch and it's connected to my deck's headphone port and my deck is connected to the computer with the rca to 3.5 millimeter so it's a weird, you know, um, you know, setup, but it's it's good enough, you know. And like I said, guys, I just started. Please just give me some slack. Anyway, like I I hate fucking drivers. I'm not gonna like I, I try finding a driver for my own. I installed it, but doesn't work, so it's fucking annoying. Or it does, it's not as good as I thought it would be. So yeah, I'm just sourcing it from my computer's um headphone, uh, 3.5 millimeter. So yeah, guys, that's that's a review, you know. Like I, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything else. I, I'm just gonna continuously uh suck its dick until 10 minutes up, so I can be in the YouTube algorithm. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, this amp is so good. All right, 350 dollars. Fuck yeah, buy it. All right, so this is me reaching. All right, so the only thing I dislike about this amp, and it's not a big deal. I just gotta make up something is the input I mean the power button all right so it's it's pretty close to where my mouse is and sometimes I, I do press it and the buttons are very sensitive so if you just press an inch it, it turns off you can actually just press it effortlessly like I thought you know there's gonna be a little bit of resistance if you press it halfway there so the amp could tell you are you sure you want to turn this off and you'd be like oh yeah sure and then you put more pressure to it no nope, you could just do it you know without even noticing like you would only notice when there's no sound or the noise come out like this all right here's another positive uh the buttons are really satisfying especially the power button is like Oh man, I, I like I like that noise, but I can't hear nothing. Oh yeah, and also the gain knob. I, I love how it feels and sounds when you turn it. Like Yeah, I love it. Uh volume knob, nothing really special. It's just a regular volume knob. You turn it and it doesn't really make it doesn't make any noise. It's noiseless. And then there's the input button. Also satisfying. I I, I love it too. But uh, yeah, all right, I'm checking the time. It's eight minutes. All right, let me tell you my family story. Uh, yeah, I was no, I'm just kidding. So yeah, guys, like I said earlier, this is a great amp, all right? It's, it's it's clean. Every music sounds different now. Like I'm having a hard time making videos because all I'm doing is just listening to music, listening to my favorite music, and listening to it in a different amp, which makes the different experience. All right, I love this. 
I, I hopefully you guys have this much money to buy that shit. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me Twitch and Twitter. See me Twitch, Twitch and Twitch Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And say the bye. Oh yeah, and also to make this ten minutes longer. Oh, happy New Year! You know, hopefully you guys had a great 2018. And hopefully 2019 won't be as harsh or as forgiven or whatever the fuck you want it to be. And yeah, um, yeah. See you next year. Yeah, you're gonna hear that a lot. You're gonna hear that from the fucking class clown and the the office comedian, like, ha ha, see you next year, or oh, I haven't seen you in a year. I'm like, oh my god, I'm such a fucking smart comedian. All right, yeah, that was really off topic, but uh, yeah, bye.